So I decided to post on my Snapchat story and tell people to reply with a state. Whichever got the most repeats, I would go. I want to visit every state in the United States probably by the time I'm 30, but I've only been to a handful so far. So I'm going to be traveling to a random state and surviving for 72 hours, hopefully. Enjoy. Arrive at Detroit Metropolitan Airport. Let me ask if they have tickets available. Get the- my mom would literally kill me. <laughs> I can't- I can't freaking work a camera! What? I can't work a camera! I'm so sorry, I'm so bad. Bye guys! Have fun, be safe! Take me with you! I stayed in a 16 bed co-ed hostel for three days and I met some really cool people. We all had our own bunks, these lobby areas, and a porch to hang out on. On the inside of this place it looked like it was straight out of a movie. This trip I have a few goals. I want to land a kickflip, go to a concert, go to a zoo. I also want to find a skate park and coffee shop. And then I have one more mystery challenge that I just heard from somebody in the hostel last night that I want to do that's important to me and meaningful to me so i'm about to go to that right now but you'll see that probably at the end of the video and i did just find a coffee shop coffee's pretty good but there was no dine-in seating so i'm just sitting at a park at the capitol so far this trip has been like unexplainably amazing like the best experience of my life i don't even think this video will do it justice because i really just didn't want to film everything just because i was having so much fun i've experienced a lot of things but i've also been wanting to live in the moment to get the full experience so yeah i'll see you guys the next location I ran into a couple that mentioned there was a step on the Capitol staircase that was exactly one mile above sea level. 
which is the real reason why Denver is dubbed the Mile High City. I figured it was because of dispensaries, but I guess not. Anyways, I had to check it out before heading to the skate park, and somewhere along my three mile walk, I found the best sandwich shop in the entire country, a few monuments, and a local skateboarding and skiing store where I bought this new hat. So I've been high key struggling to find a bathroom, but I've basically walked through all of Denver now. It's been awesome, I've got to see pretty much everything. And now I get to walk over the Millennium Bridge, which I did not, I didn't even realize I was going to, and now I'm here. So I remember playing some version of Monopoly that had the Millennium Bridge when I was younger, and I'm not sure which one it was because there are multiple bridges in Monopoly version. The most famous Millennium Bridge is in London, but I enjoyed this one as it was still the coolest walking bridge I've ever seen in person, and it got me so much closer to a much-needed bathroom that I was very excited. I stumbled across this little river which was underneath the skate park, so I relaxed here for a bit and then made my way to the skate park above. I just made it to the skate park and walked about another three miles. skate I'm gonna try and land a kickflip because I have to land a kickflip in every state that I travel to it's just a given and then I'm probably gonna take a bus back but yeah I just like had to sit down on a bench for a second and take it all in because this is just so cool so I got the kickflip on like second try even though my legs are like jello because I've walked probably 11 miles in the last two days but this park is literally the coolest park we've ever seen. So I'm gonna skate it. After skating, I took the bus home and got ready for my first solo concert. The band was a tribute to Led Zeppelin and I was a bit nervous at first to go alone with 10,000 other people in the stands. But I saw it as the perfect opportunity to push myself out of my comfort zone and Red Rocks is so stunning, so I did not want to pass up this opportunity. There's a lady who shoot All that glitters is gold And she's buying a stairway to heaven I'm literally like almost in tears how beautiful this fucking place is. I'm out of breath because I just walked up like a ton of stairs. But I just like can't get over the fact of like how just amazing this experience is. Like I can't stop smiling. Like this whole trip is just amazing. Like I suggest anyone goes and does this. It is just, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, just go travel by yourself. It's just amazing. I mean, look at this. If the stores are all closed with a word she can get what she came for.
hit this stair. If I wasn't by myself, I don't want to end up in a hospital. But there's so many cool skate spots here. I need to bring somebody back here to skate with me. So I just got done with the zoo. I walked about three miles to get here. And on the way, I ran into this girl that was from Florida and was doing the same exact thing that I'm doing. So we just went through the zoo together. So when, they, when you put your hand in the water, not only do they see your hand, but they can also feel your hand. <laughs> For those of you still watching, I mentioned earlier that this was a journal, and I just wanted to share my full thoughts on this whole experience in hopes that it inspires you guys. In a summary of this trip, I just wanted to note that this trip was truly life-changing. In the last few months, I've been to Northern Michigan, Angeles, Cancun, Salt Lake City, and now Denver, and I've learned more about myself and the world around me in these few months than any other time in my life. I've learned that you can travel to the most beautiful place in the world and take a picture proving you saw it, but then what? Sure, it's cool, and the status you get from peers can be thrilling, but when you wake up in your own bed the next day, it's all over. This experience being so random and spontaneous allowed me to look inside myself and taught me to search for all of the types of happiness. Whether I fly to a random state or go to my regular coffee shop back home, there are endless opportunities to enjoy with the right mindset. And more importantly, that it is possible to do that in the first place. I fell in love with the idea of traveling, but not just the idea of seeing the places, but more importantly, the people that I crossed paths with. The lessons that I learned, the courage I found within myself, and the personal growth that traveling can bring to the surface, and that is the most beautiful thing that I found on my trip. Sure, I could have done it anywhere in the world, but it just happened to be the great city of Denver, Colorado. And finally, I just wanted to talk about the coolest experience I've ever had that also happened to be on this trip that was just the most insane coincidence I've ever seen. So I set out for my three mile walk from the hostel to the zoo. I walked about a mile north and had about two miles straight east that I had to walk and when I got to this one crosswalk I ran into this girl. About a mile goes by and notice she's still following me. She seemed pretty chill and I was thirsty so I stopped in a 7-Eleven and got a water and by the time I ended up checking out we ran into each other at the next crosswalk. So I thought I'd ask, are we going to the same place? She said that she was going to the zoo and I was shocked. I was like, no way, I am too, this is crazy. We ended up walking to the zoo together and hanging out at the zoo. We were both traveling alone on a spontaneous trip and that's just not something that happens every day. The coincidence was just crazy. It still blows my mind that that happened in the first place. We were just two complete strangers in the same situation that happened across paths at the same time. We will likely never even see each other again. It would be cool, but what's more important to me is that I've never experienced anything like that before, and honestly, I don't think many people have. It was a completely different reality than I ever knew existed, and I just think it was such a beautiful coincidence, and it impacted my life so much that I'll never forget it. I'm so grateful that I was able to go on this trip because that experience alone of crossing paths with somebody like that really inspired me. As a film student, it's really hard to see what the future holds. It's not like you can just go apply for a job uh, like you can with most majors. You have to actually do the work, make connections, and make a name for yourself before you ever get to see the work. And it can be really discouraging at times. But when I put myself out there and came across an experience like this, it really showed me that you never know who you're going to meet and you never know what that person may teach you. The biggest lesson from this trip is that in order to get the life that you want to live, you have to live it. Simple as that. Take the risk or lose the chance. I'm almost to the spot that was the monument. That, oh my god, there it is. I'm literally so excited right now. I've never been more excited about any monument in my life. This is so sick. This monument also just happens to be on California Street. It's a sign that I need to move there. This is unreal. <laughs> My life is literally complete. Chicago. <laughs> Literally for real. Hey, 
I mean. <laughs> Look at it. I know, it's so cute. It's my favorite bear. Do I, oh, I probably shouldn't have ripped it off of there. It's fine. I'll put it right next to my, <laughs> my crystals. <laughs>